Hi, I'm Stephen with AlbertaUrbanGarden.ca. So it's been 11 weeks since we began this indoor rock dust trial, and it's time to measure the results to see if our, our theory uh, held up. So as we saw in the last update, there was no change in the germination rates between either the peppers nor the tomatoes. So our, our second hypothesis was that rock dust would have a beneficial reaction on the seedlings themselves because it'll enhance their ability to get to some of the micronutrients and the trace minerals that the rock dust produces. So I'm going to show you how, I, uh, how I'm going to measure these and we'll, uh, at the end we'll do a recap on the differences and what, what our findings in this particular trial are. So the first measurement that we're going to be doing is the thickness of the stalk right at the soil level. So this particular one measures in at three and a half millimeters. And this one at four millimeters. So the next measurement is the height of the plant. So that goes from the base of the plant in the soil to the top of the, the leaf tip. This is at 111 millimeters. And its neighbor there is at 144 millimeters. The third measurement for peppers is the number of mature leaves. This is a mature leaf, whereas this one that has not broached off from the main stem is not. So the number of mature leaves will be counted and collected. For tomatoes, the fourth will be the number of branches, the number of healthy branches. This is not a healthy branch, this is. So the results with the peppers, the rock dust peppers are on the right and the control peppers are on the left. There's not a whole lot of noticeable difference. However, in stem thickness, the control was 7% larger. In total height, the rock dust was 6.5% larger than the control. And in the healthy mature leaves, the rock dust had 19.3% more healthy leaves than the control. The results for the peppers are fairly consistent with our hypothesis that rock dust has a positive effect on pepper growth. On the right hand side are the two tomatoes with rock dust and on the left hand side are their controls. You'll notice the controls are significantly taller than the ro their rock dust counterparts. The stem thickness was 11.5% larger on the controls than their rock dust counterparts. The total height of the plants was 25% greater than their rock dust counterparts. The healthy mature leaves were 16.2% greater in the control than in the rock dust. And finally, the total number of tomato branches was 20% larger in the control than in the rock dust. These results are inconsistent with our hypothesis and I would like to repeat this experiment in order to get a good idea of why this might happen. With a small sample size, these are only observational results. So what I'm going to do, along with a couple of participants from the Home Garden Field Trials uh, Google Plus page, is continue this trial outside this summer. So what we're going to do is we're going to test rock dust versus a control Except this time, instead of measurements, we're going to weigh in grams the produce coming off of these plants. Because ultimately, if we're looking for a beneficial uh, substance to add, we want to get produce out of it. So our hypothesis in this will be that the rock dust will increase the yield and possibly doing a blind taste test, the taste of the produce coming out of the garden. If I don't get conclusive results this year, it might be because uh, this is taking some time, the rock dust is taking some time to become bioavailable in the soil. In which case, I'll likely continue the trials into 2015 to see if we can get a little bit more of a better result. If you'd like to see how we set up this rock dust trial, please check out the previous videos. There'll be links above my head. Thank you very much for joining me. I appreciate it very much. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and a subscribe. If you'd like to continue the conversation, please join us on Google Plus and Facebook. Those URLs can be found in the description section below this video. Have a great day.